Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today I'll be showing you my new favourite optic added to Escape from Tarkov in patch 13.5, the Elkan Spectre HCO. At a glance, this new holographic is on Peacekeeper 2 for $166, which is about 20,000 rubles, but interestingly, it is cheaper than most of the other Western one-time scopes such as the EOTech 553 and even the XPS 3.0, which is favoured by many players for endgame builds. However, despite its price tag, I genuinely think that this site might be the new meta holographic graphic over and above all of the others simply due to how it looks. The thin surround of the HCO feels incredible to use and the extra width versus the EOTEX allows you to keep more game area inside the site's view when using it, which I'm a huge fan of. The reticle itself is nice and clear too and really the only downside that I can find about this in the stats is the slightly higher weight, coming in at 0.43 kilograms versus 0.25 of the XPS 3, but this really is a marginal downside that certainly doesn't discount using it. Practically the only minor issue that some have pointed out to me when streaming is potentially a small undershoot even at distance. You would expect some at shorter ranges due to height over bore, but at 50 meters this should be accounted for in the zeroing. The shooting range level 2 is exactly 50 meters long and it does appear to have a small low bias, but it is really quite small so I don't think it matters that much and I've been using it successfully regardless. In short, this is my new go-to site when not using powered optics. There is another new scope as well, the Romeo 7 on Skier 3 for 18k. Despite how it looks, it is actually just a one times and it does have a relatively crisp dot, but the housing is pretty huge, blocking lots of useful screen area. Another thing to note is that unlike the HCO, full auto with the fast fire rate weapons can cause the dot to disappear off into the unknown. I really hate this about optics in Tarkov in general, and these two reasons are probably why the Romeo 7 tends to sell at or below the trader price. If you have nothing else, it is serviceable, but I can't see myself buying them, except for one very specific purpose. Whether this is intended or just a quirk of how it's been added to the game, it's one of the few short-ranged optics that has 800 sighting range. While sighting range has no real bearing on anything in-game, it's important for gunsmith and sometimes you can use these to complete builds slightly cheaper than the alternatives, at least it gives you another option. So now let's take a look at some gameplay using the HCO, which I've been maining over the last few days to see how it feels, primarily with the G36C. Ow! Damn. Well, he hit a good good old thorax shot on me. Look at that. 19 out of 40. Yeah, I do level 4. Yeah, 44. Yeah. <laughs> and so did someone else. Dude, that felt kind of pristine. Uh, where do I need to go again? What did I, what did I literally just say? Oh, yeah, we need to go to the bunkers. We'll go bunkers first. I don't really enjoy coming this way, but... I don't think he got a shot off, which is pretty good. If I don't just die now. Oh, he had a Balti, poor guy. Trying to be shootable or something along those lines. Well, level roughly with which gun? Will 308 be viable? Basically, when you get Peacekeeper 4. That's the issue. Until Peacekeeper 4, you don't have M80. So you need to be level 37. And then you might be able to do it. Hello? Was that at me or was that the bug? I can't tell. And it's a bit awkward. I think if you do... Uh Yeah, so I've got a hotkeys one which goes through that, but then also I kind of talk about it. I, I talk about how to do it and how to do it with the new... How to do it with the new setup in my, like, hidden changes video. I think you just have to basically touch this. There we go. Now, where do we want to go? I'm, I'm thinking if we came down... I think I want to go to the left-hand one. The plan now is to go to RBST. If someone's in there, they'll know we're there straight away. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, maybe this, maybe it's fine. <laughs> I 
Literally, somebody like dropping down as soon as we go in. Oh man. <gasps> okay, we'll go the other way. Oh, it's like up there somewhere. Weird place. We'll go all the way around. I keep hearing steps and stuff. Maybe it's, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm being stalked or something. Mm -hmm. I am lucky. The bounce on that from not having PKs on. Holy moly. His running caught him, yes. We're a bit exposed here, but don't worry, it's fine. It's all it's all okay. No bugs here. No bugs here, friends. What is going on? Now we're really, really heavy. It's a scav. How many water? Hmm. Check the scav. We could. He's just here. It's just a grenade. Okay, we need to get a move on though. Tank nearby. Is that a crate? It is. Ah, look at that! Saviour! I shouldn't have come out of that menu. And then we'll take 40 of that. Actually, was that, is that overkill? 30? There we go. Look at this, my friends. We are... We are cruising now, right? I can't take any more stuff. I can't even take the motor, to be honest with you. Yeah, so I think we're going to go... We're going to still try and do... I don't know if I've got enough time. Do I have enough time to go RBST, then up to Dome, down through Dome, into D2? I, I must do, right? What I'm going to do... So we're going to drop the bag off here. Uh, where is it again? That one. 14 minutes. This bit's going to be a little wild. This bit's going to be the, the dodgy bit. I do quite like reserve though. The loudest feet. Let's see. I'm actively camping D2 right now. Love it. <laughs> Thank Grat isn't online. You have a lot about this. This, uh, this, this stank rat. You have a lot about him. Imagine power's not on. Well, we'll have a little run, won't we? It's actually not on. Okay, guys. We have a bit of a sprint. Where are we going to put it? It's not really obvious. Maybe down there? There we go. Right. 
Are you just pulling this will be bad? Well, yeah. Come on, no raiders, please. Not a raider, it's just an invulnerable scab, that. Make sure nobody's, nobody managed to sneak in here before us. Rubber band it back to the bunker? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Gotta love a bit of, uh, bit of reserve, eh? So next up, go and check out my video on the 556 weapons this patch, which worked perfectly with the HCO. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, and as always, have fun in your raids.